Here we have some games that I've picked up in the last month or so. Let's go ahead and talk about it right now. Hey guys, welcome back to Pop Games. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and checking out my content. All right, guys, so I have a new pickups video here where I talk about a few games that I got recently. And I got these on sale. Most of them are on sale. So, you know, I saved some money and I'm super happy about that. You know, Black Friday and uh, Cyber Week is a great time to get video games. And then here we'll be talking about a few Nintendo Switch games some PS4 games, and yes, some PS5 games at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned, watch the whole video, and let me know in the comments down below if you've played any of these video games and if you have them in your collection. Starting things off here is Luigi's Mansion 3 for the Nintendo Switch. Now, this video game I've been waiting to buy for a very long time, and uh, I decided to go ahead and buy it this year for Black Friday week. It was on sale, I believe it was like $35 or something like that, or maybe even cheaper. But uh, I went ahead and I picked it up and I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is a game that I would love to play. Now, I haven't played this game before and uh, I'm not a huge, like, you know, Nintendo fan. So I don't have that history when it comes to Luigi's Mansion. But it looked like a fun game, especially for Halloween and stuff like that. So this year, I for sure want to go ahead and play this during Halloween. And even before then, I'll try to play with my sons or something. But yeah, this game looks like it's a lot of fun. I like the graphics, obviously, like the Nintendo Switch graphics. They're like, you know, nice and colorful. They pop. And it's a fun little game that you can spend some time with family and stuff like that. You know, look through all these clues and stuff. And it looks super cool. It's not, you know, supposed to be that scary. But uh, it's just a fun all-around game that I can't wait to play this year. Here is Fire Emblem Three Houses. This video game here has, at least this franchise has a lot of history. It has about 30 years of history. And I can't wait to play this game. This is going to be the, my very first time playing a fire emblem game let me know in the comments down below if you guys have played these games i know they're very popular at least in japan they are and a lot of people you know have been talking about it online and stuff like that so i'm like hey let me go ahead and check it out so it went on sale for black friday and i wanted to make sure you know to try it out so i'll go ahead and test this out and see how good it is um you know it looks like a very fun game i like turn-based and i do like like the you know strategy and stuff like that behind it so hopefully it's, uh, you know, it, it gets my attention and long enough for me to finish the game. But I know a lot of people have put like hundreds of hours in these games as well. So let me know in the comments down below if you have any information on Fire Emblem Three Houses. And if you're currently playing it, let me know that as well. Here we have a beautiful looking game and that is Yoshi's Crafted World. This game looks so awesome. Look how good the colors look like they're popping off the screen. And the reason I got this game is because my eldest son, he's been watching me and my wife play Super Mario Deluxe U for the Nintendo Switch. And he loves every time that Yoshi shows up. He loves it. He loves the sounds that he makes and stuff like that. So he was like, hey, you know, you know, every time I, he does that, I want to go ahead and play the game with him and let him play, you know, hold the controller and stuff like that. But the funny thing is I saw this on sale for Black Friday and I'm like, hey, what a perfect time to get this game. It's on sale. You know, my kids like it. They laugh every time we play. So I went ahead and I got this and I can't wait to play this, you know, throughout the year, make them, you know, play the game with me and see the beauty of video games and hopefully get like that whole spark going for him and uh, his little brother when, you know, we play games together as a family. That's really cool. And I think it should be a good experience for all of us together. So yeah. Here we have The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on a Nintendo Switch, and this game looks awesome. The colors are popping off the screen again, and I keep saying that because for some reason the Nintendo Switch games just make me see these colors in a different way. For some reason, it, they look awesome on that console, and it's just one of the things that I really look forward to is like a beautiful looking game. This game, the water looks amazing. The environments, like the enemies, and, and just the, the gameplay looks a lot of fun. I can't wait to play this game. I know I'm late to the party when it comes to this game, but at the same time, you know, I got it at a good deal. I'm not a huge Nintendo Switch collector, but at the same time, I want to start off like this year, 2021, and pay a little bit more attention to the Nintendo Switch. Hopefully get a lot of good games that way and, uh, you know, get them on sale and stuff like that so that I can go ahead and talk about them on the channel. But Link's Awakening looks really good and I can't wait to play it here on the Nintendo Switch and then probably make some reviews later on. We'll see. Here we have a crazy game that I I don't even know why I haven't gotten this game yet. 
this game just went on sale for like 20 bucks for Black Friday and I'm like yo I gotta get this game right now this is an only on PlayStation VR game so you have to have the PlayStation VR to play this game it looks super cool I'm pretty sure I'll get like you know motion sickness but whatever it looks awesome it's like a fun looking game and I cannot wait to play it I played the VR before and like you know I played Resident Evil 7 and it made me a little sick because I was sitting down but at the same time the character was moving so I can't imagine that while flying around but I did play Ace Combat 7 and you know I was fine so hopefully this game is good so I had to get it it's a Marvel game it's like a Marvel character Iron Man one of my favorites so of course I had to get this game on PlayStation VR so that is one of the reasons I got it and I cannot wait to dive into this game let me know if you've played it in the past here we have a PlayStation 4 remake of a game that came out a while ago and that is Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning so this is called Re-Reckoning here and it's you know a big huge RPG the creators went to go they wanted to make a game kind of similar to WoW but at the same time like they kind of failed they went under, they had some money problems, and there was like a whole lawsuit thing happening. And uh, I guess the company went under, but somehow this game was remastered here. It was remade or whatever, and it looks okay. I mean, the uh, the it, it looks a little bit dated, to be honest, but like the gameplay is still fun. The camera, you know, the way you look around and maneuver the character is a little weird still, but at the same time, it's a fun game, and I want to go ahead and try it here on PlayStation 4. I'm actually playing on PlayStation 5, so you've been seeing the DualSense controllers on the top left. If you see that, it's because I'm playing on the PS5, so it does run on the PS5. This is gameplay footage that I captured from there, so I can't wait to play this game a little bit more on PS5. Here I got this, you know, Catherine full body game. I got this video game at a great deal. If you see the screen there, it's $17.99. It was on clearance from Target, completely brand new. So I bought the game and I picked it up. I know that has been going for a lot more than that. And a lot of people like these games and uh, I haven't played it at all, but I want to go ahead and try it out. The DualSense controller there is just there for show this time around because I haven't actually played this game. You know, I don't have any footage. This is just a trailer here, but it's one of those games where like it has puzzles and uh, it's like the whole story is about a guy with some, you know, Catherine or whatever. Like, I guess um, it's like a relationship love kind of game and it's kind of weird. But at the same time, I can't wait to play it and see what it's about myself. Let me know in the comments down below if you have played the game. And uh, that's a funny baby right there on the screen. So let me know if you played the game and uh, what you think about it in the comments down below. I can't wait to try this out. It looks insane, actually. That's fun. Here we have Shantae and the Seven Sirens. Now, these games are super fun. They're side scrollers and uh, 2D platformers. They look so good, too. Like, especially nowadays with the modern graphics, they look so amazing. It's like, I just love this art style. I like the music. I like the. Uh, the sound effects, it just looks like a fun all around game. And when I saw this announced for the PS4, I'm like, I have to get a physical copy of the game. So I bought the game from, you know, uh, limited run games and I went ahead and waited and waited and waited until I got it. And I was so happy to get it. I haven't even played it yet, but uh, you know, this is the trailer you see on the screen. It looks so good though, I cannot wait to play. I played these games in the past, you know, they were made years ago, whatever, this company has been in business, like, way forward, and it's just, like, a good, you know, company that you can trust when they make side-scrollers, so I cannot wait to play this game. If you played it already, let me know in the comments down below what you think of Shantae and the Seven Sirens. This is a game that I really, really wanted to get, and this is Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, but I didn't want to go ahead and pay $60 for a PS4 game when I just got a PS5. So I went ahead and I waited and waited and on Black Friday, this was on sale for $14.99 from Best Buy and I went ahead and picked it up. Now I did play it on PS5, so I put the game into the, my console and uh, you know, it installed perfectly. It has the original voice actor so far. I played a little bit of the game here just to get like, you know, the first impressions and it looks cool, like the little tutorial. So I can't wait to go back into the game and play some more. But like I said, I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan and I love what I saw so far. Love the sound effects. Again, the voice actors are awesome. The graphics look good on PS5 and it's just a fun fighting game. You know, that I really, really want to go back into the whole Dragon Ball Z world. I love this world so much. I love that franchise. Here we have Watch Dogs Legion for the PS5. And 
to, to, to be frank, I was completely and utterly disappointed with this game. This is my, you know, gameplay footage here. This whole intro is like the cinematic intro or whatever. But guys, this looks like a last generation game. This game does not look good at all on PlayStation 5. And I don't know if it was just like a simple port or if it's getting like graphical upgrades later. But as of right now, like so many things of this game were not cool at all. I didn't like the textures. The, the voice acting wasn't that great. The characters weren't that great. You know, it, it just wasn't doing it for me. And the gameplay was too, I don't know, like too puzzly, I guess. And I'm not into that, like, you know, hacking stuff. I, I did play the first and second games and they were fine. But this one just didn't feel right. I played like, I don't even know, like 20 minutes. And I was like, really? Like, I don't even want to try this anymore. Like half an hour of that was not cool. Here we have Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. This game is fire, straight up fire. And uh, I'm not that good at COD games. I die super fast in these games, but um, I do love the, the, the graphics here. The sound effects are amazing, especially if you're using that Pulse 3D headset, like the, the surround sound, like the 3D audio is super awesome. It has saved my butt so many times because I can hear the characters, the other players just being right around the corner behind me or something and I follow them and get them. But uh, yeah, man, this, this this is a really good game and I cannot wait to play some more of it. I mean, I've been enjoying it so far for a COD game and uh, it's going back to the roots. I like this, this Miami map right here is super awesome and it's just a game that is going back to a good shooter. So let me know in the comments down below if you've played Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I really want to hear what you guys have to say. I mean, it's a very fun game on PS5 and it looks really, really good and it sounds great as well. Awesome game. Spider-Man Miles Morales. I've been playing this game nonstop. I love, 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 love this game. It's so good. Like the, the music is amazing. The gameplay is super fun. The characters are beautifully like acted by the character actors. It's a really, really fun game and it's so awesome. I really like this game. You know, I can't wait to go ahead and uh, get the Platinum Trophy because I already beat the game, but I'm going to, you know, doing another playthrough to get a Platinum Trophy and it's just so much fun. I'm not even bored yet, guys. I love the gameplay, doing that whole Venom, you know, punch and dash and flying around. It's just super awesome. And the only little thing that I don't like so much is like, is like the character's a little whiny, like the, the voice actor. But besides that, it's a great Spider-Man game. I love it. This game is definitely one of the best games so far that I've played this year. Super awesome game. I am not going to lie and complain about it. It is so awesome. Have you played it? Let me know in the comments down below. And here we have Immortals Phoenix Rising. This was supposed to be called Gods and Monsters, but it was changed uh, later on, you know, towards the release of the game to Immortals Phoenix Rising. Anyways, this game looks super good. It's like a, it looks like Zelda Breath of the Wild, not going to lie. You know, it plays like that as well. But like the graphics look really good on PS5. It's uh, the character details are good as well. But you know you have to get used to it because they're kind of cartoony. The faces look cartoony and stuff like that. But whatever it's doing, it's doing it right. Like the gameplay is fun. The graphical art style is fun. It looks good. It looks like a beautiful cartoon. Like I don't even know like watercolors kind of. But at the same time, it has like that detail like to the environment and stuff. And I love like this little area here that you're seeing on the game right here, like the space area behind you, like the constellations and the stars and stuff like looks so good. It's just very beautiful to look at and it's fun to play as well. So I can't wait to play more of this game, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you're playing this game. I had to get this from Walmart because I pre-ordered it from Best Buy and they delayed it. So I went to Walmart and I bought it at a discount it was off ten dollars so it was 50 bucks from walmart not gonna complain about that so what do you guys think about this video games i know it was a long list i have a lot more coming too so hopefully this next year is going to be filled with more collection videos pickup videos and more discussions about video games because it's a new generation of gaming and we're going to see some great titles coming in the next few months and years down the line so hopefully we get that information sorted out and then i'll be making these videos here on my channel guys so make sure you come back let me know what you guys want to see on this channel if you have any suggestions at all when it comes to video games or any hardware and stuff like that let me know and i will try to incorporate it into the channel thank you guys so much for your support i'll catch you guys later make sure you like subscribe and share and i'll see you guys later stay safe peace out